This is Michael Wu from YeeProgramma.com. I'm going to talk about discriminate analysis. Well, it is a long tutorial. So first of all, I have created some virtual data. I have two groups of data. One is X, the other one is Y. And the size is one of them a thousand data points, the other one is a thousand five hundred data points. Now I make the port. That is group X and group Y. What we want to do is we want to make a line to separate the group X and Y. <laughs> First of all, we want to combine all those data to one big data set so we can put into the function. Uh, the classify function in that lab. And then we want to create some labels for the corresponding group of data. After we combine all the data, this is a, a 2,500 data points uh, so each data point has two elements because we plot it on a 2D plane. Um, right now we are creating one big long array to store the label. So the label would be X for group X data and Y for group Y data. There is a thousand five hundred X label and a thousand Y label. The next thing is we want to create uh, we want to select eighty percent of the data to be training data, twenty percent of the data to be testing data. We need to randomly set around 80% of the data. So now we are creating the random random data index. After that, we want to find out the training data index, the rest of the 80% to be the training 
index. The testing index will be 20%, training index will be the 80%. So we use a function set XOR. I'm going to talk about two discrimination ways. One is linear, the other one is quadratic. This would be the final result, what you will see at the end. So first of all, we are going to do the linear one, and this is the syntax. Um, all the code can be found in eeprogramming.com, so uh, it will be easy for you. LT cast is the result of the chain that classifier to classify the testing data percentage of error. P, you can ignore it at this point. LOGP is, you can also ignore it. Coefficient, that is the information of the line. In the classify input, you need to type classify, the function name, and then the first one, the first input is all the testing elements. The second input is all the chaining elements. Oh, I'm sorry, all the chaining labels. The last input is whether it is a linear or quadratic. I want it and give the confusion measure. If you have the confusion measure, you can easily to be identify what is the input and what is the output. If you input X into the classifier, will the classifier give you X as the result or give you Y as the result? It will be easy to be seen by using the confusion matrix. Now, I'm going to pop the light. This is the syntax. And once again, all the code can be found in the eeprogrammer.com, so um, it will be easy for you to learn it here and just apply the code from the website, from our website. Well, okay, at this point, even I have already put the line, but I'm not going to show it to you because I want to display the quadratic uh, results. We do the same, um, use the same function, but the only thing we are going to change is the last input we put in the quadratic uh, label. We do the confusion measures again. Uh, well, we have you have you can see there uh, much better result already. So right now I'm going to display the result graphically. Everything display it in graphical in graph. Okay, this is live. However, I didn't put the data point on there yet. Now, I'm going to put the data point on there. Well, the first thing is we, I need to find out... Um, well, the first thing I need to find out in the testing data which is belong to group A, which is belong to group Y.
after that, I can put it on the figure. And this is the same as how I put it on the figure. Uh, once again, just go to our website because uh, this tutorial is long and it's just difficult to type everything within like 10 minutes. So, and the result is clear.